What's good, everyone? Aggie Coach here. All right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think? So, this is uh, where I am right now uh, with this field build. So, as you guys can see, let me get down here. So, this is the grass. You can see, looking really nice. This is the grass. So, this right here is the sideline, right? So, this is where the sideline is going to be. Um, and then of course the brown area that you see here this is going to be my playing surface right so the new build is coming together I'm making a lot of progress so now I want to show you guys what the next stage um, the next stage of the build is so got my frame put together um, got the legs put on the frame right now these are very very short legs but um i'm gonna be able to put it up on my gaming table uh later so i got my this uh is tempered hardwood okay this right here is tempered hardwood it's called tempered brown hardwood this is what my gonna be my playing surface um okay then of course i got my sidelines all i need is my field cover so um and so I have two things, well, a few more things to do. I have already pre-prepped my wires and my bases. I've waited, I mean, I'm sorry, my uh, motors. I pre-prepped my motors. So I have all of my wiring done for the motors, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, I've waited my motors. I have the gears put on the motors um, and the pre-wiring is done. So I got to put my mounts down. So I'm gonna show you guys what's the next step. I had to go and this is the first thing that I had to get, mounting tape, okay? So I'll show you guys what the mounting tape is gonna be for. There's a few other things that I'm gonna need and I'll show you guys what the next step is. This is epoxy, which I'm going to need um, for mounting, uh, okay? And then the next thing that I have uh, are mounting pads. These are mounting pads. So I mount my motors on these mounting pads and then I zip tie them. And I use the epoxy to hold them in place, which takes about five minutes to dry. Uh, this board is gonna have 10 uh, high speed motors on it. And then the next thing that I'm gonna be working with is sticky back Velcro, okay? And so I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna be disassembling this thing really quickly so you guys can see um, actually how this is gonna work. Um, so I wanna kinda give you guys a, an idea, right, an idea of how this build is gonna set up, okay? So, I move my grass for a second, cause I don't have, I don't have any of this stuff um, tied down yet, okay? So right here on this board, here, okay? So, this board here that fits in my frame, my sideline board, so basically what I'm gonna do is right here on the side, right here, along this side, right here, right? That is where this tape is going to go. So I'm gonna take my mounting tape, it can hold up to 10 pounds. I'm gonna take my mounting tape, it's double-sided, and I'm gonna run it down this rail, right? And then I'm going to mount this on top of it, and it will hold that in place and I don't have to worry about it moving anymore, okay? And then I can put my grass down, right? That will take care, that will take care of that part, okay? So that will hold that down, right? Now, for, for the playing surface here, um, for the middle, the center, for the center playing surface, what I'm gonna end up doing, what I'm gonna end up doing here for the center playing surface is the same thing. 
So right here, this inside rail, right here, I'm going to be putting the Velcro. I'm gonna be putting the Velcro in here, right? So this Velcro right here, I'm gonna be putting inside of this frame and on the underside of my board right here. So I have enough to go around the whole board and the whole inside of the frame. This Velcro is gonna serve two purposes. For one, it's really spongy, it's really soft. It's going to absorb the vibration from the motors and that's going to stop the board from rattling. It's very important that you guys have a solution if you're building your board, especially if you're using aluminum or metal like what I'm using for this board, right? It's very important that you don't get that rattling sound when your board is running, right? So putting that Velcro here along these edges is going to stop uh, it's going to stop the that rattling, right? It's going to give it a real quiet uh, buzz, which is what I want when I put my motors on. In addition to that, having the sticky tape here, right? Having the sticky tape here along with this grass um, and the Velcro here is going to stop any vibration from coming over here which is what I want to avoid. I don't want any vibration over here at all, right? I want to keep all the vibration on the center of the board. So that's what that's for. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to take my mounting pads, my mounting pads and my epoxy. And I'm going to do my measurements and make sure that they're equal length and I'm going to epoxy my mounting pads down. Um, it's gonna be five along this side, and it's gonna be five along that side, going all the way across the board. And then I'm going to mount my motors under my board. This board is actually upside down, right? The playing, the, the playing surface is actually on this side. So, uh, and I'll show you guys how, how I'm gonna do the mounting. I've already pre-prepped my motors so you guys can see, I've already pre-prepped and wired them. So these are the motors right here. I've already wired my motors. Uh, I have them all wired already. I have them all pre-prepped. So you can see, these are really high speed motors. Okay, really, really high speed motors. This is the gear on the motor, right? And right here is a counterweight that I put on the motor, that's gonna give it a little wobble. And that's going to really, really allow the figures to move, right? So I'm gonna be putting 10 of these, uh-oh. I'm gonna be putting 10 of these high-speed motors um, on this board. Then once I get them down and get it all wired, then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna plug it into my power source I plug it into my power source. Once I plug it into the power source, it'll be ready to go. Then we'll do a series of test runs and I'll let you guys see how the board runs. Um, then in maybe two weeks, in about two weeks, my field covers should start arriving in the mail. Once the field covers arrive, then I'll just put the field covers down on my board and we'll be ready to start playing. So, just so you guys know, I'm giving you guys a heads up now. Game two is going to be on the new board, right? So when I get to game two, it'll be on the new board. For the time being, I'll be dropping a series of videos, other videos, up until the time we get to game two. I'm really, really excited, and I can't wait to play on the new board, All right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tape down put my Velcro down, do all of my measurements, get my mounting tape, my mounting pads done, and mount my motors. The next video, you guys will actually see this board running.